Happy Friday, everyone. We have a 4th of July workout coming your way. Let me get you set up on live here. We'll get started. We have some special guests today as well. Let's see. Also, I can't see who joined. Sonica, hello. For some reason, I can't. I missed who first joined. I don't know why my computer's not working. The, the outfit, yes. Hello, thanks. I got my shoes and my socks on. I don't know if you guys can see. Stars and stripes. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> nice. All right, well, welcome. Again, you need some weights. If you have dumbbells with you, grab some dumbbells. Wow, Matt. <laughs> Good stuff. So grab those weights. Wow, wow. If you don't have weights, body weight is fine. You guys hear the music okay? Alright. Alright guys, so we're going to get started with the warm up. Okay, so if you are ready, grab your dumbbells. I already have my dumbbells, Mom. Alrighty, if you're ready, start with a little jog, okay? So, hope you guys are looking forward to a nice long weekend. Let's see you all joined. Oh, hello, Catherine. Welcome. How's it going? Good stuff. So, see, if I squint at the phone, that's the only way I can see who joins. My computer's not working, so good job. So, again, nice and light on those toes, just getting warmed up here, embracing the holiday spirit today. We're at the lake house, so a little change of scenery. Good to see you too, Catherine. Good to see you too. Okay, let's go into some butt kickers. So you're gonna kick those heels up towards your butt. All right, warm up those hamstrings. Again, if you just wanna stay here, you're just gonna hamstring curl if you wanna be right here instead of the butt kickers. Nice work, guys. All right, from here we're going right into jumping jacks. All right, so when you're ready, right into the jacks. You can tap side to side if you'd like. Again, you should feel that heart rate going. You should breathe them a little more, get warmed up. Good job, good job. All right, we're gonna do some squats. So, get those legs right underneath those shoulders, squatting down nice and deep, and then back up. Make sure the weight is back in the heels. Okay. Again, as fast or as slow as you'd like, keep going. Good, nice work. Keep that chest tall. Awesome, we're gonna go back to the jogging, all right? So when you're jogging here, again, light on your toes. Good, keeping that core engaged. Maybe pick up your feet a little bit, go a little bit faster. All right, engage the arms back and forth. Good job. All right, butt kickers again. So, kick those heels toward the butt. Again, you can stay in the hamstring curl if you like to stay in the hamstring curl. Nice. Good, so wherever you're at, good, keep going here. A few more seconds. Good job. And jumping jacks last time. Here we go, get those arms all the way up. Legs out. Good, you're breathing here, guys. Nice job. Good, keep pushing. Awesome. Good, all right, we're gonna do some sumo squats this time. So legs out nice and wide. You're sinking down nice and deep. Coming back up. All right, again, still weight in heels. You're just engaging those inner thighs a little bit more as you're going. Good breathing. Nice work, nice work. All right, let's make our way to the ground. So we got some inchworms. So you're gonna hinge at the hips. You're gonna walk those hands out. Nice high plank position. We're doing mountain climbers. So whenever you're ready, join me here. Again, as fast or as slow as you want. Good, and hold high plank. All right, hold here nice and strong, shoulders over those hands. Good, and back to those climbers. All right, here we go. Each in the core, good job. Nice, and hold. All right, this last time we're gonna add some push-ups. So, you have just five push-ups. So wherever you're at, if you need to go to your knees, go to your knees. All right, five push-ups. And you're gonna walk those hands back up towards your feet. Stay up nice and tall, and then grab some water. We're gonna get started, okay? So, 
I was persuaded by my brother and my boyfriend to... This. They wanted to do the demonstrations today for the exercises, so I'm going to let them demonstrate. I'm going to coach them because it's a little rough. But, again, like I said, you're going to need some dumbbells, all right? Um, the rest is body weight stuff. How today's format's going to work? We have four seven-minute rounds, all right? So seven, four. All right, play on the reps here for the date of 4th of July, okay? And then we have in the seven minute rounds, you're gonna go back and forth between a four rep exercise and a 17 rep exercise, okay? Back and forth between those. Once the seven, the seven minutes is up, hello, Michelle. Um, you're gonna do a little finisher, all right? A little finisher for 76 reps of an exercise. But that's at the end, so we don't need to worry about it. The first two exercises that you guys are gonna be focusing on are burpees and suitcase squats, okay? So, are you guys gonna have to do the thing? So you have four burpees, all right? So we've done burpees before in class. I'm just doing it. So going all the way down to the ground, coming up, exploding up, okay? You don't have to go to the ground if you don't wanna go to the ground, okay? You can stay in that high plank position or you can walk those feet in and out, okay? <laughs> yes, Annika. And then you're gonna grab those weights. You have 17 reps of suitcase squats. squats. So you're keeping the weights outside of your legs, squatting down. <laughs> Nice and deep, okay? Keeping your chest nice and tall, okay? So you have seven minutes, thank you guys. Seven minutes, four burpees, 17 suitcase squats, back and forth, as many reps as possible. <laughs> it's gonna be a great time, Michelle, all right? So, when you're ready, I have seven minutes on the timer. Set, burpees, and here we go. All right, so you got four burpees. Find your modification, again. If you're only doing four, you can out to high plank and up. You can walk those feet back. Walk them in. All right? And then from there, where are the weights? All right, so then you got those suitcase squats. So nice and deep. All right, you don't have to have those legs too far apart. Okay? Again, down through the heels. Keep the chest tall. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. 17 reps. All right, so you guys are going your own pace. Good, breathe here in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, so after you finish the 17, you're back to the burpees for four. Good job. Good job. Keep breathing, guys. Yeah, I'm not counting here. I'm just kind of doing it here with you. Good. All right, here we go. How many rounds can you get in here today? Challenge yourself. Got a holiday weekend. I'm sure some of you guys have a long weekend. Good. There's only four burpees, so that's not bad, right? It's doable. Again, feel free to increase your weights as you do the weights for the squats. All right, so again, nice and deep. Drive up. Good. Seven minutes. Hard work here. Good. Here you go, guys. Hope you guys have some fun Fourth of July plans. If you want to comment and add what those are, go for it. We're at the lake. So we got a golf cart parade tomorrow. We're doing a little Cinco de Mayo theme. Hopefully win some prizes. Obviously, I'm going to be wearing this lovely outfit with my shoes and the socks. Nice work. Good. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Again, all on you today. Whatever you feel like you can do. Challenge yourself, set some goals on how many rounds you'd like to complete, and get to it, all right? Four burpees, 17 suitcase squats. Here we go, get that heart rate up. Again, you don't have to add weight if you don't want to add weight for those squats, okay? All right, coming down and back. All right, engage that lower body. Keep those shoulders strong and back. Alrighty. Again, take breaks as you need. You have seven minutes to do as much as you can. All right. So do what you're able to. Have fun here. It's Friday. Having a good time. Woo. Yeah. Feel on those quads, on those squats. Yeah. Nice. I don't know about you, but dressing up makes the workout a little bit more fun. I always like it. Good. I got some sunglasses, but 
American flag sunglasses. Good guys. We're coming up on that halfway point, okay? So you're about halfway. All right, keep pushing, finish strong. Crush these last few sets that you have, and then we're gonna move on, okay? Again, if you don't wanna go all the way down for the burpees and you have like a table or some type of couch next to you, you can always, oh, it's easier here, come out back here and jump. So always an option if you do not feel comfortable going all the way down to the ground for those burpees, okay? Here we go, here we go. Again, option to stay here. Good, option to walk out, walk back in, all right? Come on, keep pushing, guys. Good, it's only four quick reps here. And then you got, oh, hey, Tay. Welcome, welcome. Like my shorts? <laughs> here we go. Almost there, guys. Keep breathing. Good. Nice job. Make breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Jude, when you watch this later, I'm sweating, okay? You should be sweating now, too. Good. Again, at any point, feel free. Drop the weights. Remember, sink deep as far as you can go, all right? Some people go can go a little bit deeper on the squat than others, depends on your flexibility, okay? We have about two minutes left. All right, two minutes, push hard. Remember, four burpees, 17 suitcase squats. Then we got a little finisher coming up. All right, come on, dig deep, guys. Good, keep that core tight and engaged here. Come on, finish strong. You got this. Try to get through one set of each, the burpees and the squats in this last Minute and a half that we have. All right, come on. Good, nice and controlled. Find that pace in those squats. Good. Nice work. I think my arms are finally not sore from Tuesday's workout. If you guys are there for upper body, my triceps were killing me the past few days. Good job, come on. Almost there. You have just over a minute, all right? Just over one minute, finish a set, finish one exercise, whatever you gotta do, all right? The heart rate should be up, we should be warm, ready to go, weight back in the heels, as, even as you get tired, focus on good form. Good. Nice job, everyone, come on. Under this, under a minute here, Dig deep. Nice. Good job, good job. Keep pushing. Finishing strong. 30 more seconds, all right? 30 seconds. This is it. All right? Work hard. Here we go. Get those reps in. Come on. Now we're moving on to a little challenge. Nice. 15 seconds. Here we go. Dig deep. Finish strong with me. Good. Awesome. You got five, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Nice job. Grab some water. Good stuff with that. So before we move on, all right, we have a 76 rep exercise challenge. Okay. I'm going to give you guys three minutes to do this. So if you complete the 76 reps, awesome job. If not, do what you can. All right. Just try to keep yourself moving for these last three minutes. So we're doing swings, all right? So if you have a kettlebell with you, if you just have dumbbells, doesn't matter. We're gonna do a swing. Are you guys demonstrating or? <clears throat> Alrighty. So you're gonna hinge at the hips. You're gonna swing the weight back and through. All right, so butt goes back, drive through, squeeze your butt at the top. All right, you're only bringing the weight to about parallel to the ground. All right, so swings, 76 reps, you have three minutes. Ready? And here we go. All right, we'll get a little longer break here as you go through. All right, so again, legs are nice and wide, toes pointed out on an angle, almost like a sumo squat position. Again, hips go back, butt goes back, drive through. All right, here we go. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. All right, 
right? But challenge yourself. Get to those 76 reps. If you finish within those three minutes, the break is yours, all right? Or keep going. By all means, keep going, all right? So I just give a nice timeline here. Three minutes, all right? Break it up. If you want to do sets of 20, take a little break, then do another set of 20, go for it, all right? So whatever you got to do here to get to that 76, do it, all right? You got this. Dig deep here. Core tight. Drive with those legs, all right? That's the movement, all right? That power comes right through those legs. Arms are just guiding that dumbbell up as you come through. All right, again, always core tight. Good stuff. Here we go. Keep breathing here. 76. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Good. Again, you can always add some weight, get some heavier weights, make it a little bit harder, okay? Again, once you finish, you have a break. Until the rest, you have a minute and a half here, all right, to finish. Good. All right, here we go, guys, here we go. Come on, push hard here. Finish strong, and you guys can grab some water, and then I'm gonna explain what we're doing next, okay? So that's how our sets are working here today. Good. You have about a minute left, all right? One minute here. Oh, Andrew, Ella. <laughs> Hello, Andrew, welcome. You missed my brother doing demonstrations. Here we go. Come on, guys. 76 reps, all right? If you are done and you've got your water break, just march in place, all right? Keep yourself moving here, all right? We'll kind of get started once that timer goes off and go back to a new set of exercises, all right? Here we go. 76 reps. Good, you got about 30 seconds left, all right? So 30 seconds, get in what you can, all righty? What do you say? I want demonstrations from Derek. They're, they're coming. They're, uh, they'll demonstrate the next set. Hey, 20 seconds, guys, all right? Come on, have fun here. Get those swings in. This is one of my favorite exercises to do. I could probably do it all day if I wanted. Good. 10 seconds. If you're still working, keep working with me. If not, get ready for this next set. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Okay, so next set. All right, same format. A four rep exercise, 17 rep exercise. First exercise for four, you have a broad jump with a back pedal. All right, so, use, so again, use your arms. Get the thing out of your mouth. And back pedal, all right? So broad jump, back pedal. And then you're gonna go to the ground. You have a push up with a plank jack, okay? So one all the way down, jack those feet in and out and repeat, you're counting your push-ups, okay? So, four broad jump back pedals, 17 push-up jumping, or push-up plank jacks, okay? Seven minutes, as many reps in, and rounds as possible, and then we got a seven, 76 rep exercise, all right? Here we go, guys, round two, and let's get started. So, broad jump, use those arms, swing them back, nice soft landing, and you're picking up your feet as you back pedal. All right, you're counting your broad jumps here, Nice soft landing, it's a good squat position. If you're not comfortable with the jump, just run forward and backwards, okay? Just run forward and backward. Hello, Chris, welcome. Good, and then, again, push up. You got a plank jack. All right, you can make sure you're on your knees for the push up. Come up, plank jack, all right? Your plank jack can also be a plank tap side to side. All right, so 17 push ups is a good number, all right? It's a decent amount of reps, but you got this. Again, you can always break it up, okay? You can do a few reps at a time, take break, shake out those arms, and then do it again. But you got this. Work through as fast as you can. Good form here. Make sure that upper body and lower body come down together. All right? Squeeze those glutes. Nice job. Go as low as you can. Again, you can be on your knees. Tap side. Tap side, and then drop and repeat. All right, so whatever you gotta do for those push-ups, you got this, all right? Dig deep, challenge yourself here, all right? So this seven minutes is a great time to focus on you, what you can do, all right? And I'm here helping you along. You got it, all right? So 17, push-up, plank jacks. And then we got four of those broad jump back pedals. 
Good. Again, dig deep. Come on. Good. And then again, we're doing the broad jump. Be careful of the spacing. All right. Use the arms back and through. All right. Here we go. Move back. Pick up those feet. Back pedal. You guys are doing great. Here we go. Seven minutes. All you got. All right. Work hard with me. Good. Nice. If anything, you can just make fun of my outfit here. All right. So again, I got mismatching socks. It's a great time. I'm probably gonna be talking about it all day long. <laughs> Love me some red, white, and blue. Here we go. Back pedal. Be careful as you're back pedaling. <laughs> all right, pick up those feet. All right, as you're going, take your time if you need to. And again, 17 push up plank jacks. All right. If you are not, if you're not comfortable and you're having some pain in those wrists, feel free to go on the back on your back on the floor with those weights and do a little bit of a chest press, okay? That's a great modification for push-up if you're not comfortable in that push-up position, okay? You got this. Here we go. You can change up your push-up angle too. You can get nice and wide with those hands. You can keep it nice and narrow. If you want a little challenge, you can do a diamond push-up. So again, pick your, pick your challenge and let's dominate it here. Good. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth, core tight, add the plank jack, or the tap, or you're on your knees, all right? Good. So a few modifications for you. Here we go. Nice work, guys. All right, we're about halfway. All right, man, I'm sweating here. All right, halfway, guys. Three and a half minutes left, all right? Push hard, finish strong. We got this, all right? Do what you can. Again, I want you guys to burn that energy, working for that weekend, right? No matter what happened this week for you, I hope today is a good time just to release some of that stress. All right? Get a little sweat going. Come on. Stronger every rep, right? So, again, do what you can here. All right? You got this. Keep pushing, okay? Come on. Always allowed to take breaks here. Grab some water in these seven minutes if you need. Good. So again, use those arms on the broad jumps. Swing back, swing through. Again, option, run forward, run back. Okay? If you don't feel comfortable jumping, all right? Not everyone is, but good stuff. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. We can do this. I think the push-ups are pretty challenging. <laughs> My arms are still, I thought they weren't as sore anymore, but when I do those push-ups, I'm still feeling it <laughs> from Tuesday. All right, guys, two minutes left. All right, two minutes, go fast. All right, do what you can, all right? Try to amp up that intensity for these last two minutes, all right? Set a goal, you wanna complete both exercises twice, maybe just one round through each exercise, whatever you gotta do, make these most of these next two minutes. All right, here we go. And add whatever variation you'd like on the push-up. Try to go all the way down, all the way up. Good. Keep that core tight. Try to keep that body in a nice straight line. All right. Butts are not up in the air. They're nice and low. All right. Here we go. Minute and a half. You got this. Come on. Again, if you need to be on your knees, on your knees, and you come up to the high plank and do taps, you can do jacks. All right, even if you do half and half, all right? Half high plank push-ups, half low push-ups, all right? Good stuff, you got about a little over a minute, all right? Last 60 seconds, you can do anything for a minute. All right, ready? Come on, finish strong with me here. Push-up, plank jack, you can with me on those. Good job, good job. Dig deep. Finish all the way to the end. All right, whatever you gotta do here, you got this. Remember, nice soft landing on those broad jumps. You're back pedaling. Oh, connection. All right, we good? Connection, it's all went out a little bit. Good job, under 30 seconds. All right, under 30, 
Here we go. Four broad jumps. Try to get them in. Try to finish a set of push-ups if you can. All right. Here we go. Dig deep. Pick up those feet you backpedal. You got 10 seconds. Keep working with me. What can you do in 10? Good, we got three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Great job, guys. Grab some water. Nice work with those. So, your 76 rep challenge are flutter kicks. It's a little core exercise. You're gonna count each leg as one, all right? So one, two, three, four, nice and quick. You're gonna have two minutes to complete this exercise. All right, so try to think about keeping your lower back on the ground. All right, so as they're demonstrating, yeah, you're just kicking those legs, hovering just above the ground, okay? You can rest your hands underneath your lower back and butt if you need to, okay, for support. But you have two minutes, 76 reps, all right? Ready? And here we go. What is going on? All right, here we go, guys. 76. All right, so one flat on the ground here. Good job. Again, nice and quick. You have two minutes counting each leg as one. All right, as fast as you can, but nice and controlled. Again, hands can rest behind your back. You're keeping that lower cord nice and tight. Computer is being really annoying today. Good. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Minute and a half there, all right? You got this. Keep working. Good job. Good job. Here we go. 76. And then again, just like that first set. Once you're done, you got a break. All right. Here we go. Come on. Push hard here. Strong core. Last minute. Each leg counts as one. 76. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep working, keep working, almost there. Come on. Good. Again, once you finish, grab some water, take a break, keep moving. If you want to go side to side, go side to side. All right, you got about 45 seconds left. All right, 45. Here we go. Good stuff. And if you want to keep going, if you want to do like, count each, or do 76 on each side, if that's what you want to do, go for it. All right, you have 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds here. You can rest that head on the ground if you want. I like to keep in the air here. Again, low back on the ground. Here we go. Nice and controlled. Good work, good work. Come on, finish here. You got about 10 seconds. If you're still working, 10 seconds left. All right, good. Five and three, two, one. Relax, nice job. Grab some water. Good work, guys. Good work. All right, round three. As you're taking a break, stretching, things like that, I'm going to explain what we're doing next, okay? So, four exercise, or four reps, you're doing the thrusters, okay? So, we've done them before. It's just a squat press. You're holding your weights above your shoulders here. You're coming down and exploding up, okay? Keeping a narrow stance with the squat, okay? Driving through, letting that lower body power the weights up, okay? So, thrusters, four reps. And then you're gonna do some bent rows, all right? So work the back and those arms. So, slight bend in those legs, all right? You're rowing back and down. So squeeze the shoulder blades, all right? So you're pulling back, not up, all right? Back, all right? So bent rows for 17. So you're alternating between those two exercises, all right, for seven minutes, and then we'll move on to our 76 rep exercise. All right, you guys are crushing it, keep it up. Starting with those thrusters, ready? And, here we go. Option to make it a little bit harder if you want to do single arm thrusters. Do four on each side. Go for it. If not, you're right here. All right, so drive those weights up. I like to add a hop sometimes to really get that explosive power, okay? So again, bend row. In, down. Now, just because we're working our back and those arms doesn't mean we're not working the leg. So, butt is tight. Legs are tight. Core, nice and strong. All right, you're holding nice and steady here. 17 reps. So because we're doing a lot of reps, if you need to back off the weight, back off the weight, okay? You can always increase it if you have multiple sets of weights the next time you come to it, okay? So adjust, see how you feel. All right, so again, try to pull in towards your bottom ribs. So I don't want you really shrugging your shoulders. 
as you row. And you're pulling down and back. Good. Here we go, guys. 17 reps. Then you're back to those thrusters. Again, those of you without weights, all right, or if you don't have, want to, don't have anything else to use in your house, you can still do that same motion. Squeeze in the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You're still going to feel in those lats. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm not even using the weight. Same with the thrusters. Coming down, drive up. All right, we're still moving that upper body, so we're still working those muscles. All right, so squat press for option. Maybe Jude or Catherine, if you're still on, do a single arm here. All right, again, you'll get a little more reps in, again, a little more challenging, kind of offset the weight a little bit. All right, so wherever you're at, we got seven minutes worth of hard work. All right, keep pushing, guys. You guys are doing awesome. Embracing the 4th of July day workout. All right, spent a lot of time trying to be creative with these reps. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. Good. Yeah, again, try to look forward for your gaze. All right, keep a neck in a nice neutral position. Nice. Come on, breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. When you're doing those bent rows, remember, no chicken arms. All right? Keep them in, nice and tight. Row back. All right? Use this time to maybe catch your breath as you're, as you're doing this at the rows. All right? Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, you guys are doing awesome. Come on, finish strong here. How many are you able to get through here? How many rounds? Are we keeping track? Or are you just kind of going? I feel like I lose track a lot. Because I'm not really good with counting, so. Nice. So again, four thrusters, and then you're down for the rows. All right, again, feel free to take breaks as you need. All right, you're just doing what you're able to do in these seven minutes. Good. Keep that core tight. And we're pulling back. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Almost pretend like you have like, I don't know, like a golf ball or a walnut in between. You want to keep it. You want to hold it. All right? Right between the shoulder blades and your spine. All right? We're about halfway. All right? So, three and a half minutes left. You got this. All right? Here we go. Good job. Good job. What is that? Oh, hi, Kenzie. <laughs> oh, my little niece. <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> Love you, Kenzie. <laughs> or I guess she's not my niece. Why did I say niece? She's my cousin. Yeah, close enough, right? Good, good. <laughs> Cousins. Good job. All right, guys, come on. Here we go. Keep working. Drive with those legs. If you're on those thrusters. Again, single arm option. Good. Breathe out as you push up. Nice. There we go. You guys are doing great. Okay. Again, take water breaks as you need. Stay hydrated. It's pretty humid here today. Good. Come on. Come on. Find that nice pace. Gonna really a lot of reps in with those rows. All right. Come on. Dig deep. Good. Nice and strong. Again, as you get tired, if you want to drop those weights, drop the weight, okay? You can always do less and you can always do more, okay? So feel where you're at. You've got about just a little over two minutes left, okay? So two minutes, finish strong right to the end. And then we got our 76 rep exercise coming up after that. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Good. Drive. There you go. Remember, as you're coming down, weight back in the heels, drive up, punch those weights towards the ceiling. All right? So use the lower body to get those arms up in the air. All right? You got it. Finish up. Oh, hi, Mary. How are you? How's it going, my friend? Good. Got about a minute and a half left, guys. Minute and a half. Finish what you can. All right, so remember, keep that back in a slight bent over position. All right, remember, we're rowing back, not up. All right, good job. Here we go, here we go. Come to that last minute here. All right, here we go. 17 reps of the rows, four of those thrusters, all right?
final 60 seconds. All right. Good job. 60 seconds left, guys. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Get those reps in. Get that heart rate up. All right. Drive. Finish strong. All right, here we go. Come on, finish what you can. Set a goal here. Get 17 rows in. Get those thrusters in. We got one more set coming up. You guys are crushing it. Keep it going. Come on. Good. All right, working for that weekend. All right. Good stuff. Last 20 seconds. All right. 20 seconds. Dig deep. All right. Good. Almost there. Almost there. Good. What can you do for 10 seconds? All right. 10 seconds. Get some thrusters in. Finish those rows. Three, two, one. And relax. Awesome job, guys. Okay. So for your 76 rep exercise, you have two minutes. All right. I think it's more than enough time, but you have jumping jacks. All right. So whatever form you want to do, if you're doing regular jumping jacks, all right, or you're doing taps side to side. All right. Up to you if you want to count each tap as one or do every other. Okay. So you have jumping jacks as quick as you can. 76 reps. All right. You have two minutes. Ready? And here we go. All right. So two minutes. Come on. Nice and quick here. I want you to lay on your toes. All right. Nice and controlled. Your core is tight. Your arms are coming all the way up and all the way down. Okay. Come on. 76 reps. Come on. Dig deep. Legs go out. You're on your toes. Work those calves a little bit. 76 again. If you need to do like 20 reps and then take a break and do another 20, all right, go for it. But if you want to go straight through 76, but be my guest, all right? Good. Come on. You're doing great. Let's go. We got one more seven minute round. All right. Finish strong. Again, if you finish here, in this time, and we have extra time, that's your rest. Grab some water. All right, stretch if you're a little tight in certain areas. All right, you have 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds, get those jumping jacks in, all right? Come on, guys, come on. Good. And if you wanna keep going and go for the full two minutes, go for the full two minutes. But 76 reps is your goal, all right? Nice job. Again, you can be right here. Tapping side to side. All right, good. You guys are crushing, we got about 30 seconds left. All right, 30 seconds. Do what you can here. Finish strong. Good. Nice, arms all the way up. You got it, keep it going. Goes by pretty fast. All right, stretch those calves out if you have some time. I mean, my calves are a little sore, a little tight. All right, guys, 10 more seconds, all right? 10 seconds, get those final few reps in. Again, take a break here as you finish. Uh, hey, Bonnie, how's it going? And relax. Alrighty, guys, are you ready? Last seven minutes, okay? Seven minutes, and then we have that last final um, challenge, all right? So you're gonna start on the ground. You have four American sit-ups. So you're gonna keep your feet almost like a butterfly position, all right? So your feet together, your legs out nice and wide, and you're sitting up, okay? You can do it from the side. So, come all the way down, all the way up. So keeping those legs out, keep the feet on the ground. So, four reps of the sit-ups, all right? And then you're gonna go into 17 sumo deadlift high pulls. So if you have a kettlebell and you wanna use a kettlebell, that might be a little bit easier for you. But again, you can use the weights. So you're gonna hinge at the hips. Going down, you're gonna drive with those elbows. So the elbows are gonna come up. So try to make it one fluid movement. So hinge, work the hamstrings, drive up, okay? So slight bend, he looks very awkward doing it, but <laughs> all right, so I'll be demonstrating what we're doing as we go through. So seven minutes, you're starting with the four sit-ups, 17 sumo deadlift tie pulls. Are you ready? And let's get started. So on the ground, all right, so on the ground here, keep those legs out, those feet are together, you're coming up, back down. All right, so again, use the core just for sit-ups here. If you wanna add some weight, add some weight. 
Once you got four, again, you're coming down. You have a dumbbell, you're gonna hold the head of the dumbbell. Toes point out an angle. You hinge down, you drive up. So slight bend in those knees. Getting those elbows out wide, but they're up high. So from the side, all right? Coming down, up. All right, so squeeze your butt when you get to the top. Drive up. Bring that weight towards your collarbone and chin. All right, so you should feel in your hamstrings when you go down, okay? So, up. Again, if you need to stop and make it two movements, make it two movements. But if you can, try to keep that flow going down and up. Again, controlled, but with a good pace if you can. 17, and you got those sit-ups. All right, here we go. So our last seven minutes, push hard, finish strong. You guys are doing awesome today. Appreciate you coming out. Good, keep breathing. Core tight. Good, you got 17. And you're on the ground. Again, if you wanna add weights for those sit-ups, add a weight. All right, keep those feet together, legs out wide. Coming up. So a nice tall seated position and control on the way back down. So we're not just flopping our back on the ground, okay? You're coming up and think about putting one vertebrae at a time back. So you're keeping that core working the whole entire movement. All right, four sit-ups, add weights, and you're back to those sumo deadlift type rules. All right, here we go. Keep working, keep working. Get legs out nice and wide. Down and up. Good. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Come on. Breathe in here. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good job. Good. All right. Come on. If you want to add heavier weights, have add any heavier weights each time you come through. All right. Again, you know what you can do, what your body can do. Challenge it here in this last seven. All right, good. Stand up and pull. Good. Again, this is another one of my favorite exercises. If I had a kettlebell, I'd be doing it with the kettlebell. It's one of my favorites with the kettlebell. Good job. All right, you're three minutes in, okay? So, four minutes left. Keep pushing. Again, take breaks as you need, all right? If you need to catch your breath, grab some water, go for it. Remember, four sit-ups, 17 sumo deadlift high pulls. All right, almost done the 4th of July workout. Good. Use the core nice and controlled, up and down. If you just want to do regular sit-ups, go for it. You can keep those feet flat on the ground, keep those legs together. All right, that's more comfortable for you, okay? You can always put your feet underneath like a couch or something to uh, give some more like support. Um, if you need more help with those, all right? So a few options. Here we go. All right, we're in our second half. All right, set some goals. What are you gonna get through? Two more rounds, maybe a third round. Here we go. Don't stop until you get it. Good, stand tall. All right, again, slight bend in the legs. Stand and straighten. Good. Your butt should be nice and tight as you get to the top. Good, pull up. Remember, drive with the elbows as you come up, all right? So you should, elbows should be up nice and high. You should pull that weight towards the collarbone. All right, good. You might have to use some lighter weight, that's fine, okay? Just when you got to do that pull. All right, but again, just like with those thrusters, you're gonna let the, almost that momentum come through that lower body. As you stand up, you're kind of using that force to get that weight up in the air. All right, here we go. Again, as fast as you want. All right, here we go, guys. Almost there, we got about two more minutes. Just, just over two minutes. All right, sit up for four. We got one last 76 rep challenge. Good, nice job. Working hard this Friday. We got this Friday. Good. Nice, all righty. Last few minutes, what are you gonna finish here? All right, stay strong, maybe try to add some weight in these last two minutes, all right, to add a little extra bonus challenge. 
All right, so the workout, here we go. Nice. Make sure you guys are smiling, having fun. Enjoy the movement here. Enjoy the sweat. I'm on holiday weekend to celebrate with family, maybe some friends. Good job. Come on. Almost there. Good. Good. Squeeze the glutes. Keep breathing. Come on. Keep deep with me. One fluid movement, all right? So if you haven't tried that fluid movement, really try to get it. As you stand up, pull, all right? You have 60 seconds left, all right? Last minute, finish both exercises. If you just finish one, whatever you gotta do, I want you moving this whole entire minute, all right? Four sit-ups, 17 sumo deadlift high pulls. All right, 60 seconds to complete, let's go. Come on. Go all the way through, we'll try to get that heart rate up as much as you can, all right? Oh, hey, Dr. Al. <laughs> Are you just kind of observing for later? I miss you, Dr. Al. Good. All right, guys, under 30 seconds. All right, under 30. Here we go. What are you gonna finish here? Good. Come on, drive up. Awesome, 10 seconds left, guys, 10 seconds. Here we go, final push. Good, you got five, three, two, one, and relax, great job. Okay, for your last 76 rep exercise, you have mountain climbers, okay? So you're on the ground, high plank position, shoulders right over those hands. You're driving those knees in and out, okay? You're keeping your butt down as much as you can. All right, 76, you can either count each leg as one and do 76 total, or if you wanna do 76 each side, up to you. You have two minutes to complete, and then we're done. All right, here we go, finish strong. You got this, 76, ready? Mountain climbers, you're on, all right? Good. Regular in and out, drive those knees in. Your core is tight, your body is a nice straight line, again. Just like all those other exercises, if you need to do a few sets and a few reps, and then take a break, and then keep pick it back up again, go for it, okay? So, two minutes though, driving in, fast you can. You can add the cross body mountain climber option where you're bringing your opposite knee to your opposite elbow, all right? You wanna engage those obliques a little bit. In and out, breathe. Strong upper body here, good form. You guys got this. 76. If you are feeling good and you finish with extra time, all right, we have about like a minute and 10 seconds left and you want to do another 76, if you can fit it in, go for it. If not, take a break. All right, so the last thing we got, you have one minute here, all right? So, strong here, strong finish, 60 seconds, drive in, come on. As soon as that leg goes back, it's exploding forward, bring the knee in towards that chest, okay? Again, core tight. Again, take breaks as you need, okay? You got this, you're making this most of the last about 30 seconds, all right? 30 seconds, last bit, get that heart rate up. Keep moving. Good, Good job, come on, finish strong here. This is it. You guys have done a great job today. Thank you. Finish strong. All right, power through. Good. Awesome, you got 10 more seconds, all right? 10 more, finish with me here. Good, you got three, two, one, and relax. Awesome, nice job today, guys. All right, thanks for coming out for the 4th of July workout. Thanks for dealing with those two. All right, you guys can go now. Thank um, you, Carlos. <laughs> nice. All right, so have a great holiday weekend, all right? Enjoy time with friends and family. All right, I'm going to stay on and stretch for just a little bit. If you need to go, go for it. I'll send out an announcement next week um, or on Sunday about the class schedule for uh, next week. Okay? So, great job today. Have an awesome holiday. All right? So, I'm going to stretch those hamstrings while we're at it because they're a little tight. Good. Feel a nice stretch. Keep that leg out front nice and straight. And then you're going to switch. 
Good. Again, breathe in here as you're bringing the heart rate down a little bit. Good. Hopefully you enjoyed my outfit in here today. <laughs> also, I was just those quads. So if you want to grab your foot, if you want to reach nice and tall, all right, get a nice long stretch all throughout your body. Good, man, I'm slept. Ooh, good, and release that leg nice and carefully. Good, reach up. Good, nice and tall. Stretching those quads. Good, awesome. All right, get those legs nice and wide. We're gonna reach right down to the center. All right. Wait a second. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks for coming. It's nice to see you. I miss you. Have a great weekend. Good. So reach down for those toes again. You can reach to one side if you'd like to reach to one side. Good. And over. Nice. All right, stand all the way up, reach those arms nice and tall. And then we're going to bring one arm across our chest. Ooh, yeah. So a nice stretch on the back of those shoulders. Nice. Good. And then bring that other arm across. Good. Work. Look, it's so hot in here. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get those triceps. Last exercise. And flatten back. All right, for that nice stretch in those triceps. Good, and let's switch to the other arm. Good. Let's just do some trunk rotation. So as you're standing here, nice and tall, you're just gonna twist side to side, keep the core tight just again. Maybe stretch and hold on one side just to kinda stretch out that back a little bit. Good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna raise our arms all the way up to the ceiling, deep breath. Lean to the side, feel a nice stretch along the outer part of our torso. Back to the center, other side. Back here, and reach down for those toes. Good, and come all the way back up, roll those shoulders back. Again, nice job, thank you for coming out. I appreciate all of your support. Like, share the video, it's gonna be on YouTube as well. And I will see you next week. Have a great holiday weekend.